Okay, I've heard a few times when I've been in the food bank line, the uh, the people who are giving the uh, the free stuff say you can't turn it down. You can't afford to turn this stuff down. Well, I'm like, there there are these some of these foods. They're gonna stimulate my appetite. And I'm trying to quell it. I have to turn down a lot of that sugar added food. But you got you know that's that's that situation. Well. You know, there are situations where, um, yeah, it's it becomes uh, more desperate for you to uh, try to uh, better uh, position yourself in life. Um, and that, that is uh, probably more like with jobs and stuff. I was, I was watching a, a Howard Stern show, and one guy said he'll do anything for money. And Howard Stern asked him if he would lick a guy's butthole for a hundred dollars, and he's like, "Yeah, let's do it." And that's a situation uh, for a homeless person that they they really can't turn down, you know, an opportunity to make uh, money like that. I mean, we got homeless people already standing on street corners for pennies, um, for very little. All right, they're willing to stand on street corners with signs begging for money that's that's how low they'll go uh that's that's going you know that's that's something where you, you can't turn down any any opportunity to make money and a lot of homeless people are, are in that position but uh when it comes to taking food from the food bank yeah you i think you can turn down some of that food some of that sugar added food because that's just going to do you more harm than good to to eat. All right? So I I can turn that down. But you know, if I, if I want to make make some money, then I pretty much have to accept anything out there that's available just just to make a couple of dollars um any any kind of opportunity that comes along um no matter how how embarrassing or not uh that's that's my problem too. Maybe I got too much pride. I, I'm I'm, you know, I'm not willing to to do anything for money. All right, like like a lot of people are, and so uh, that's that really separates the successful people from the unsuccessful people. Um, maybe, that's my attitude attitude right now. I, I just I don't know. It, do, I'll probably die with this attitude. I think maybe because uh, I just I don't I don't see how even if I go go any when when I go lower the way it looks um, when I sink lower like when this car breaks down and I'm I'm on my feet uh, just trying to walk uh, everywhere uh, you know am I gonna still really humble myself and do anything for money uh geez i i don't know like steal like have to get to that point where i'll do anything for money where i'll I'll steal from from uh just a grocery store for a little bit of extra food uh you know i i'm trying to avoid a lot of things uh that that could compromise um, my, you know, my health, I compromise the legal boundaries and all that. It's, 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 uh, when you get to that, that, to that really low point, it's, it gets pretty difficult. Uh, it just, it, it makes more sense to, to take advantage. Cause I, 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 I pretty much starved myself the, the last, about the last week or so last month, but I, I mean, I wasn't. I didn't run out of food. It's just uh, I had elements of food, the foods that weren't very good by themselves, that that could have gotten supported by other foods. But uh, I just I didn't really have them. Although I did break down and bought five dollars worth of uh, sardines, which is a do dollar a can. I, I I hate pulling that money out of my savings just to do that. Um, but yeah, once that savings runs dry, then what, you know, it's, I, I can't, I've been thinking about trying to fish, uh, trying to learn that more, um, 
Stay, there's options.